Hi everyone, this is Arlene. I'm back. I've missed everybody so much. I just, I'm going to show you a little haul that I did today and I wanted to explain why I've been gone for two months. I haven't done the diet at all. Um, you know, just very depressed. I had a family member pass away, my beautiful Anne Arlene, which is my mom's sister. I'm her, uh, her namesake. That's who I'm named after. And she passed away a few days before Thanksgiving. And around that same time, I had a friend that I used to cook with uh, a few years back. He passed away very suddenly. And then my cousin Kelly, who I visit upstate, um, she had her uncle on the father's side pass away and then her mother's best friend. And so it was like within a couple of days, it was like four deaths you know, of people that I knew, and especially my Aunt Arlene from Florida, that really hit me hard, and um, it was just devastating, and then not doing the diet at all, just eating everything in sight, um, not being able to see people for the holidays, we had quite a few family members come down with COVID, thank God they're okay, but you know, Christmas Eve wasn't the same. Christmas Day wasn't wasn't the same. Um, even right up to the a past couple of days ago with New Year's Eve and New Year's Day and stuff. So <clears throat> it's just been rough. Um, I wasn't going to start the diet back on the 1st. That's why I decided to do it today. Today is Monday. And I really had nothing in the house, you know, besides vegetables and I picked up some fruit and stuff, but I went out and I'm, I'll just show you my haul real quick. I'm going to make myself uh, later on for my dinner, this 16 bean soup that I'm going to make in my Instapot. So I will do a video on that and show you that video tomorrow. But I didn't even have any eggs left in the house. I gave my husband the last couple of eggs this morning for breakfast. So of course I had to get my eggs. I'm still on the purple plan, guys, just so you know. I picked up cabbage. I plan on making a nice cabbage soup with that, with half of it. I'll do a nice vegetable cabbage soup, and then the other half, I want to make myself some low-point, um, what do you call it? Uh, I can't think. My head is still in a fog. I'm actually not feeling that well right now, but I don't have covid uh, I'm just having a hard time breathing and I've had a sore throat for the past couple days, but, um, coleslaw, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, I picked up an eggplant and two zucchinis. I'm going to make some ratatouille and put that over the whole grain pasta. That is zero points. I picked up this broccoli, carrots, sugar snap peas, and water chestnuts, it's zero points, and I'm going to make a stir-fry with chicken, like a, a Asian stir-fry with that. And, of course, I love my broccoli. And to be honest with you guys, the past two months, I have been eating, like, pasta, potatoes, noodles, everything starch. I, I don't even think I put a vegetable in my mouth for at least three, day, three, three or four days. And it's like eating ton like maybe once a week eating some vegetables. I haven't eaten vegetables at all. So I gained back every single pound that I lost plus some. My sister-in-law D down in Georgia bought me a brand new um Weight Watchers scale. My birthday was December 15th. So it was for my birthday and Christmas. So I just hooked that up and I, I was in shock when I got on the scale because I was, when I started Weight Watchers a while ago, I was 220. And when I stepped on the scale, I was like 218.6 or something like that. It was horrible. I thought I was going to have a heart attack. So anyhow, I'm back on it. I'm going to be doing my videos again. I'm not going to be doing a video every single day takes up a lot of time and I really have to focus um, on my business, which is Poshmark and eBay because I need to make some money. I'm broker than broke. But besides that, 
Um, I did pick up my chicken cutlets, which I have to clean. And I do put some through my grinder to make my ground chicken. And then for my grilled chicken cutlets, I picked up this ground turkey, which is actually 94% lean, 6% fat. So I will put that through the, Cal the um, Weight Watchers app. I think it's three points for four ounces, if I'm not mistaken. I picked up my Butterball Turkey Bacon, which I love for my breakfast. These, I cannot wait to eat. I'm going to eat these as a flat for a sandwich. Um, you can put cold cuts on it. You could put tuna fish on it, egg salad, chicken salad. And you get two of them for one point. And they're the Wasa Light Rye Crisp Bread. And it's made with whole grains. So I'm looking very forward to that. Loving that. I picked up um, my light sausage. Now here I have my barley, my soup I'm going to make, split peas, lentils. Um, the winter time I love my soups. So I'm just going to make a small pot of each soup, put it in the containers, freeze it. This way when I want it, I can pull it out. I got my fat-free mozzarella. They didn't have the cheddar. Um, because I'm going to be making some of the ground turkey tacos. Um, I always have to have my fat-free gravy. I like things with gravy on it. So I picked up um, a beef and a chicken. I picked up the two of the um, Greek yogurt, non-fat, the plain. Um, I'm going to make the two-ingredient dough and make myself some pretzels, actually. And then I have my almond milk unsweetened that I can do my chocolate pudding and whatever else I want to make with that. I could make a cream soup with that if I wanted to make, um, you know, cream of turkey or something. I have um, turkey stock and I have chicken stock, so I can make a cream of chicken soup with that. I have my yellow popcorn, which I bought the the brown paper bags to do it in the microwave. So I'll be showing you how I do that for a nice little snack. Now I did have a problem. Um, I just, sorry about that. Oh, did I cancel? Oh, here we go. I'm sorry. I shut you off by mistake. Um, I did have a problem with these little moth things that I got in my food. So I had to throw everything out and rebuy everything. So, I mean, in here, everything is now in a container and labeled. I mean, everything from my seasoned rice to my cornstarch, my elbows, my nutritional yeast, my orzo, banana flour, bow ties. I mean, everything. This is all brand new that was purchased because I threw everything out. And then in here, I have my... um. My Kodiak mix, my Cobb Quick, my quinoa, my egg noodles. I have my whole grain spaghetti up there. I have my baking soda, my matzo ball mix, my whole grain elbows, and regular spaghetti for my husband. So, yeah, this has all been purchased brand new because I threw everything out. And then... I ran out of some containers, so every uh, everything else, like my ch my chocolate pudding, stuffing mix, c uh, c cake mixes, and stuff like that, are all in regular Tupperware and in that closet. So this this is where all my spices used to be, so I cleaned all that out and put the canned goods in there. But yeah, it was, um, yeah, it was terrible because I saw... Like a moth or two fly out of the cabinet. And then as I was using stuff, I noticed that it had like little buggy things in it. So my sister-in-law down in Georgia, she was like, oh my God, Arlene, once they get into one thing, they get into everything. I've never had that before in my life. So me and my niece, Jenna, everything got thrown out. I ordered these containers from Amazon. They are amazing. They come with the... With the... Uh, the little labels that you could wipe clean and then do it with the marker. So if you want to change them out, you can. And uh, yeah, so that's what I had to do. So all that's brand new. 
And, um, yeah, so I'll be, I have more containers that I'll be putting all of this stuff in. And, yeah, so that's my little haul for today. I am back. Um, I haven't really read, I read a couple of messages um, on YouTube that people were writing to me and wondering where I was and everything. But like yesterday was my brother's birthday who passed away, um, about 10, 11 years ago. He would, he would have been 50 yesterday. And like I said, the holidays were real tough and very depressing. And I just get into this funk and I just couldn't get out of it. So I was just eating everything in sight. Cakes, cookies, candies, which I never eat like that. I was just indulging in everything. And I was so sluggish with no energy. It was absolutely horrible. Gained all the weight back. And, but I know it happens to the best of us. But guys, I apologize. I am back. And let me get this food away. I'm going to start my soup. I will make a video for you. The soup is so delicious. And then for my lunch today, I think I'm going to make some tuna fish on this. And I do have lettuce and tomato and, and celery and stuff in the refrigerator. And um, I'll probably have that with some cantaloupe or I have those little mini oranges. I have uh, some mango. So I don't know. But this is what I was able to pick up today so that I can get back on track with my diet. And I just want to let all you guys know that I missed you so much. I miss doing the videos. I miss interacting with all of you and <clears throat> seeing how you's are doing. And, um, yeah, but I'm back. And you know what? It's a new year. We just have to erase 2020 and get all that bad stuff out of our minds. It's so devastating for so many people, 2020. And my heart goes out to everybody who has lost a loved one or that had, you know, that got really, really sick from COVID and barely made it through. And, um, yeah, I just want to tell all you guys that I'm back. I love yous all. And I, I just appreciate all of yous. All right. So that's my little haul for today. And thank you for everybody that wrote to me. Um, like I said, I haven't really read all the messages. I've I read a few when they would pop up every now and then. But I'm going to sit maybe tonight or tomorrow night and really read everybody's messages. But now that you're watching this, you know why I've been in such a funk. And, you know, haven't been doing any, anything. So that is the reason why. And I apologize again. So everybody have a wonderful Monday. And I'll see you all in the next video. And I really do appreciate all of you. Bye-bye now. So for my breakfast today, I'm eating very late. It's 11.15. I haven't eaten anything yet because I had to go shopping this morning. I just have two scrambled eggs here with some salt and pepper and a little bit of onion powder in it. I have two of those wasa. These wasa light rye crisps. And I have three of the light sausage. So three of the sausage are three points and two of these are one point. So this breakfast is going to be four points. And I'll have either two of my clementines or a piece of melon or something after I eat this. And I was very excited to get on Amazon this water filtration system. Uh, to try to save the planet without using so many water bottles all the time. Because I got a ton of, um, for my birthday and Christmas, Amazon gift cards. So that's what I purchased all of the containers with. I'll put a link in the description box below if you want to organize everything with containers like that. And I also got the water filtration. And my goal every day is to drink two of these full. So to drink two of them. So I actually like water that's room temp. So as soon as this runs out, I fill it back up and then I know I drink my water for the day. So yeah, so I'm just going to make these. I'll take a picture at the end. That'll be my thumbnail picture of my breakfast for today. And again, thanks everybody for stopping by and I'm back. I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye. Okay.